in this class let us discuss another gate previous gate problem on the driver circuit topic so this is gate 2004 triple e question so here the question statement is assuming the diodes are ideal in the following circuit the current in the diode d1 is so the current in the diode d1 we need to find out so we are having the four options now so in this circuit we are having 5 volts at this point and this is 8 volts so current in diode terminal to the d2 and we need to find out what is the current in d1 so for this we need to find whether d1 is forward biased or d2 is forward biased so here let us assume first d uh, we can according to the polarity we have to decide it first so if you observe d1 we expect d1 is forward biased because the positive terminal is connected here in this way and let us consider if you observe here also negative positive terminal is connected to the d2 and here this is negative terminal of 8 volts so obviously d2 will be in the forward bias let us consider both d1 is forward bias as well as d2 is forward bias in the initial assumption so when d1 is forward biased so because the diodes are ideal in the case so here this the voltage drop across d1 is 0 so the voltage at this point we can consider it as 0 volts let us consider d1 is forward biased in that assumption it gets forward bias that means the voltage across this diode is 0 so at this point we have 0 0 volts now observe let us consider this is 0 volts and this is minus 8 because 8 is negative terminal is connected here so obviously we can consider this diode d2 is also forward bias when d2 is also forward bias when d2 is also forward bias we can consider this current so this current is equal to 0 volts minus of minus 8 divided by so this is 1 kilo ohm so 1 kilo ohm is the resistance so this will give 8 milli amperes so current in this direction is 8 milli amperes this is the current in this direction 8 milli amperes is current flowing through this one so here this is 0 volts so this is 5 volts so current in this direction will be so when you consider in this current in this direction so 5 minus 0 divided by 1 kilo ohm so this will give 5 milliamperes so this is actually 5 milliamperes so this is 8 milliamperes so if you observe kcl at this point so kcl at this point when you take kcl let us take this is the uh, diode d1 node kcl at d1 so here one is 5 milliamperes is is entering here and leaving currents are ID1 is leaving as well as this is 8 milliamperes is also leaving. So from this ID1 value is equal to minus 3 milliamperes. So what is our initial assumption? I consider D1 is forward biased. When D1 is forward biased, here the current flow will be in this direction, but here the current you got as minus 3. So that is actually negative reverse current you are getting. That means the initial assumption whatever we made the d1 is in the forward bias that is not that is not correct so d1 is in the reverse bias case so d1 is in the reverse bias when the d1 is reverse bias this acts as open circuit so no current enters into this volt no current enters into this uh, diode so here current in d1 is zero because minus 3 we got when forward bias that is not possible so it is in open circuit when it is open circuit the current is zero so option c is correct that is the answer for this problem.